Brokaw 219 here and today we're going to be shooting the Bursa BP9CC. <clears throat> I got this I got this gun from work. Uh a little over 300 bucks, I think $320. Uh, I've had my problems with Bursa in the past. So uh we're going to try this gun out and I'm hoping this gun is something that I'm going to use to go hunt over here in these woods or in my other spots. Um in case a coyote comes up or, or something uh, that doesn't want me in the area <laughs> so much. So hopefully this will work out as like that truck gun or, you know, the toolbox gun or something like that. Uh, it is chambered in 9mm. Uh, it does come with a, with a rail. I haven't tried to put my optic on that rail yet. Optic. My light on that rail yet to see if it fits. Probably not going to put one on this gun, but you never know. You can change out the sights that I've looked online. You can put some Glock sights on there, but this is a $300 handgun. Don't know if I'm going to put a $200, $300 uh, pair of sights on this gun. Uh, we're about from 15 yards from the target down there. We're going to shoot, and we're going to just check functionality of this gun. I'm not doing any kind of accuracy test or anything like that. Uh, I will take my time. The gun does have a pretty good trigger on it. So we're going to check that reset on that on the trigger, uh, things of that nature. Pretty much basically just to check out the functionality of the gun. I haven't oiled it, lubed it, or anything. I think sometimes if you buy a gun, you should be able to take it out of the box, fire a magazine or two through it with no malfunctions. But we'll have to see with this gun. Uh, so let's get busy. Just to point out, it does have a loaded chamber indicator at the top, and it has no other safeties. A little high. I think I got another magazine. Comes with two eight round magazines. Uh, if you're looking for capacity, this isn't the gun for you. All right, so far so good. Uh, no failures at all. Uh, shot fine. Uh, the recoil is manageable. Uh, if you're not used to 9mm, then uh, might be a tad bit snappy for you. For me, it's nothing nothing new. Little high. Uh, the sights are not adjustable. Maybe that front sight is, but the rear sight is not. There's no, you can see, there's no room for anything. So I'm going to go fill up uh, these other magazines and we'll give it another go. So I look at this gun as kind of a Glock type style gun. Uh, doesn't have the ergonomics of a of a Glock. My hand fits farther uh, towards the front of the firearm than it, usually a Glock does because the Glock to me has a weird grip angle on it. So uh, this one, it feels okay in the hand. Uh, if you look closely, you can't change out the, there's no back straps or anything like that. You basically, when you buy it, that's what you get. And you're going to have to train off of that kind of aspect with the grip angle and, and how it feels in your hand. This one feels all right uh, so far. Uh, it's not it's not really beating up my hand too much. Uh, the checkering, again, on, on the side panels, that's going to need some help. Uh, if your hand was probably wet or sweaty or bloody, God forbid, uh, I think this thing would slip out of your hand in a heartbeat. So maybe some talon grip or maybe some kind of tape uh, that you get uh, from uh, all the websites around the internet will help you, uh, you know, keep keep a nice firm grip on there so that gun, you know, if your hand does get wet or something, doesn't get uh, uh, hoppy on you and, and fall out of your hand in some way. Uh, I am shooting Magtech. 115 grain full metal jackets just normal ball ammo i've had trouble with mad tech 380 in the past with my ruger lcp2 but i seem not to have a problem 
with any of the nine millimeter ammo. So maybe it was just, maybe it was just a fluke with the 380 stuff. So we're gonna put uh, another uh, couple rounds through this gun and uh, get get down and see uh, if this gun's gonna function or not. Well, everything fed on that one, so we'll get the next one out. All right, no problems. Uh, it's working well. I can see I am shooting high. I am shooting high with this gun trying to compensate a little bit for it uh, but I can tell I'm shooting high uh, which I don't know maybe it's just me I'm not gonna blame the gun just yet I think it's just me I haven't shot in a while nine millimeters hard to come by and uh, I found some boxes uh, picked them up paid a pretty penny for them but it is what it is I didn't want to get in my stash so uh, we'll fill up some more and uh, keep on running around through this gun so the next set of ammunition that we're going to use is cell, cellular and below or cellular and ballot, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to discriminate. Please don't do it against me. So uh, we're just going to put these down and see how these function with the firearm. And uh, hopefully we can kind of dial this gun in. Those were a little better grouping. Not excellent, but it's better. We'll, we'll check out the trigger reset. I will say the trigger reset is short and it's to the point so just shooting a little bit like that I can tell that follow-up shots are gonna come off a little bit quicker <laughs> I just tell you the reset is pretty good uh, that was one of the things that kind of drew me to this gun was the trigger uh, not so much the company but the trigger so far it's shooting well so uh, let's continue to shoot it and uh, see how it goes. So give me one second. All right, so we have some more of the s and uh, I do want to mention that a coworker of mine had bought one of these guns. She took it out, she shot it. She said she only had a couple malfunctions with it. Again, she's not an avid shooter like me and the rest of the people. Uh, so I don't know if she was doing something incorrectly. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, but she said she did have a couple of hiccups with this gun. So far, we haven't. Uh, we're approaching 100 rounds at this point, so let's keep on shooting the gun. Starting to, starting to get better. Starting to get better. Getting used to the trigger. Uh, here we go. There's a failure. Failure to feed. Let's take that out. Right on cue. Right on cue. Take that out. Make sure the ground is seated in there correctly. Alright. Let's go. All right, let's go get some more. So I have noticed one thing loading the magazine. Uh, as, I'm lo as I was loading this magazine and pushing the rounds in there, uh, if you can see it, that round kind of nose dives on there. So you, that might have been the problem with it. So just make sure that that round is seated in there correctly. 
and it even got stuck uh, if you can see these little lips and in there I don't know how well you can see that there's a little little prongs down there the bullet actually got stuck under there and then I just had to tap it and it came up uh, these magazines have Versa's name on it uh, Industra Argentina so they might be manufacturing their own magazines for this firearm or for all the firearms they make I don't know so uh, we're gonna continue to shoot this gun and see how it performs Uh, there's a little critter running back there. Scared him. Alright. So I think I got two more rounds. And that would be a hundred rounds through this gun. So... Put the last two rounds in here. All right. There it is. So, so far, uh, two different types of ammunition, 100 rounds. Uh, that one little failure, that hiccup, uh, again, might have been. It might have been me. All right. I, I'm willing to take the blame for this stuff. Uh, maybe the the round wasn't seated in there quite well. But all in all, uh, the gun's working. It's functioning. I don't see any kind of pins backing out in it. Um, it is it is pretty hot. So I don't see any kind of physical damage to the firearm. Uh, but we'll continue to shoot this gun on and off uh, and, and see how it does. So far, it works. Typically, with guns with me, uh, shooting them is fun. But if I'm going to carry something, if I'm going to rely my life on it or, you know, my family's life on it, I'm going to make sure the gun's going to be functional. A hundred rounds doesn't do it for me. It might do it for some people. It's getting kind of windy here in the great state of Indiana. But a uh, hundred rounds just doesn't do it for me. I don't think that's uh, pressure enough on a firearm to see if it's going to continue to function. Especially if this is this is a budget firearm some people only can come up with with three four hundred bucks for a gun uh, and if they're gonna use it throughout their lifetime uh, you're gonna have to make sure that gun works especially training uh, concealed uh, carry courses uh, some of the ones that I've taken 500 rounds man 500 rounds and hopefully uh, guns guns on this budget type of level can hold the structure of a 500 round uh, count uh, during a class because you don't want a catastrophic breakdown of the firearm and you sure don't want to be clearing malfunctions uh, Unless it's a design malfunction drill. So we're just gonna have to keep an eye on this gun I'm gonna keep shooting it uh, again. Nine millimeter is not very uh, Available in my area my specific area don't know how it is on your end, but in my area. It's not very available so uh, I'm gonna just kind of you know baby this gun and put you know maybe a half a box or a box through it every once in a while uh, again I have a I'm carrying my 38 you can't see it's off camera but I'm carrying my 38 that guns reliable uh, I've already shot that gun it's fine so uh, I'm gonna continue to carry this gun but I'm really gonna put this gun through its paces especially when I'm out in the woods and you know I'm hunting and some kind of uh, a predator comes up there uh, I want to make sure this gun's reliable. I want to make sure it's going to kind of get me out of the pinch that I'm in. Uh, so we're going to continue shooting this gun. So far, it works. So far, we only had that one little hiccup, but I think that was my error. So uh, I, I'll put that pin in my column, uh, not the firearm or the company's column. But we're going to continue to shoot this firearm, check its functionality. When we get to that five, 600 round count, and I still don't have any kind of malfunctions with it, this gun's going to go into the the rotation for hunting it's going to go right into my hunting vest and i'm going to carry it around for me uh and always take it out once in a while shoot the gun make sure it's still gonna you know even though it comes over that threshold of the five six hundred rounds 
that it's still going to maintain uh, uh, reliability. So, for all that being said, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, please, if you want to come on the live chats, interact in there. All the interaction, whatever you do around the channel, whether it's the thumbs up, the thumbs down, the like, the commenting, the subscribing, whatever it is, helps the channel out. Helps us keep the gun content flowing on platforms like YouTube. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can go follow me at rollcall 219 on Instagram where I post pictures of some of the firearms that come through the shop that are neat and unique uh, and some of the firearms that I purchase to get you uh, ready to see the next upcoming video. Also, I'm on Twitter where I tweet some of the politicians almost every day, uh, especially those shitbags like Joe Biden, AOC, and those people that want to take our freedoms away. Definitely got to tweet them. Uh, always keep an eye on them. Uh, so that's what I do on Twitter. You can find me there at Roll Call 2010. It's gonna be. It's gonna say 219 on there because that's when I started my Twitter account. They won't let me change stuff. Uh, so those are some platforms that you can reach me on. Also, I have a couple of older videos over on GunStreamer.com. If you want to go over there, that's a free site. Uh, there's no kind of limitations uh, on that platform. And on GunTube.org, please go over there and check uh, those two platforms out. If you don't want all the kind of censorship YouTube puts on there. Yet again, we'll keep on shooting this gun. We'll keep on putting rounds through it. Uh, I think I got another box of nine that I'll just shoot uh, just to continue the, the functionality. And we'll see if we can reach that plateau of the round count. And like always, guys, thank you for watching. And we'll catch you on the next one.